fastest is, in my opinion, not the, the right expression. Moving boundaries might be the right expression. And right now, heading for the 300 mile barrier for a serious hyper sports car, uh, this is the boundary we were heading for. And this is what we'd like to achieve. In 1987, the Ferrari F40 became the first street legal car to go 200 miles per hour. And the Jaguar XJ220 did 220 miles per hour. In 2005, Bugatti's Veyron hypercar broke the 250 mile per hour barrier. In late 2019, the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport became the first production vehicle to ever reach 300 miles per hour. But why has it taken almost 15 years just to go 50 miles per hour faster? The biggest challenge is to get the overall package right. So that means not only design, not only aerodynamics, not only engine, not only tires. It's to get everything together and working in one car. The key was a good team and it was easy to find these people within Bugatti. I think most people have been 150 miles an hour sometime during their life. If you then add just another 30 to make it 180, that's a whole different world. Then when you get to 200, it's a lot faster than 180. So when you're talking about 300, it's a massive, massive step. Everything is fine, and you can start. You think about speed as a linear measurement, and I suppose it should be to a, to a human brain. But if you've ever gone 150 miles an hour before anywhere, if you then step that up just to 180, it's only 20%, but the difference is huge. Cleave, uh, downforce, lift drag, uh, it's all increasing exponentially as a square of the speed. If, for example, you had a car that was capable of 270 miles an hour, the efficiency you need to take that same car up to 280 is pretty massive. The The beating heart of the Chiron is its newly developed W16 engine. The engine matches the quad turbocharger, 8.0 liter displacement setup of the unit in the Veyron but virtually every element has been redesigned for improved performance. Bugatti quotes official numbers of 1,480 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque, which is up on even the Veyron Super Sport's 1,183 horsepower and 1,106 pound of torque. The 25% jump in power is mainly due to increased boost pressure. To achieve this, bigger turbos were needed. However, to address the issue of lag Bugatti developed a sequential setup where two smaller turbos work at engine speeds of up to 3,800 RPM and then two bigger units take over. Incredibly, the Chiron's engine delivers its peak torque at just 2,000 RPM and maintains this all the way to 6,000 RPM. Not surprisingly, Bugatti says the power delivery in the car is absolutely linear. Bugatti Chiron shot with Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires has become the first near production car in the world to break the 300 miles per hour barrier, after reaching an independently verified speed of 304.773 miles per hour 490.484 kilometers per hour. The Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires used for the record were very similar to the regular original equipment tires. One of the things you need to do is you need to stop the tire from changing shape. It's these enormous tearing forces that actually make the, the tire quite crowned on the top. The tires were not totally different, same carcass, same mold as the standard Chiron tire, but what they did do is reinforce the very last steel band that goes on the tire before the rubber goes on. I think the tricky part was they didn't want to increase the weight of the tire. They are marked BG, meaning they can only be fitted to the Bugatti, 
and they are completely street legal. The only difference is that the casing belts of the tires used on the record-breaking Chiron were reinforced, specifically to handle the 5,300 g which the tires must withstand at these very high speeds. Running through a number of test loops, the engineers at Bugatti and Michelin eventually found the perfect rubber compound for the best possible grip. The entirely newly developed Bugatti exclusive Michelin Sport Cup 2R tires in size 285-30R20 at the front and 355-25R21 at the rear ensure exceptional grip even on tight corners taken at high speed. With a newly developed tire structure and a softer rubber compound optimized for the chassis, this combination offers 10% more lateral acceleration, thereby further increasing the cornering speed and overall performance of the Hyper Sports car. At that kind of speed, normally aeroplanes are flying in the air. And, um, you have to make sure that the car will stay on the ground, is stable and not that nervous that the driver feels comfortable in the car and that you can drive uh, that kind of speed without any risk. To get everything worked together in one moment and to head for the 300 mile boundary it was like heading for the for the pinnacle of, of mobile competition.